everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Lansoprazole. Its brand name is Prevacid. Now before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So Lansoprazole is a gastric acid pump or proton pump inhibitor. It blocks the final step of gastric acid production. In terms of indications for use, Lansoprazole is indicated to be used in the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. It can be used in erosive esophagitis, as well as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. It can also be used to treat a duodenal ulcer, as well as a gastric ulcer. Now, before somebody was to use Lansoprazole, there is a contraindication that they must clear, which in this case would just be a hypersensitivity to Lansoprazole, or any other component of the product, and there's also some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. In terms of precautions, this medication is on the Beers criteria, which is a list of medications that the elderly population should either avoid or use cautiously. We would want to avoid using this medication for longer periods than eight weeks in the elderly population due to the increased risk of Clostridium difficile, bone loss, and potential fractures. However, there are some indications that would warrant long-term use in this population. Hypomagnesemia, or low magnesium, may occur in patients using this medication for durations longer than three months. So monitoring may be recommended in individuals using this medication that are using other medications that also cause a decrease in magnesium. There's an increased risk of Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea in patients using proton pump inhibitors, particularly in patients that are hospitalized. So in these individuals, we would want to use the lowest dose for the shortest possible duration of time. There may be an increased risk of osteoporosis-related bone fractures in patients using lansoprazole or other proton pump inhibitors. This could be more of a risk if they're using high doses or using the medication for an extended period of time. And lastly, for precautions, some physicians may choose to stop proton pump inhibitors if a patient is to receive high-dose methotrexate therapy. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindication and made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use lansoprazole or Prevacid, they can expect to receive their dose orally. So if somebody is using lansoprazole to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, they would typically use 15 milligrams once daily for about 8 weeks. For Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, they may use 60 milligrams once daily, or up to 90 milligrams once daily. For short-term treatment of a gastric ulcer, they may use 30 milligrams once daily for 8 weeks. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using lansoprazole, so I'll go over some of those here now. Up to 5% of patients may experience abdominal pain or constipation. Up to 7.5% may experience diarrhea, and about 3% may experience nausea. 1% of patients using lansoprazole may experience a headache. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be hypomagnesemia, or low magnesium, Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea, bone fractures, or rhabdomyolysis. That's all we're going to talk about today with lansoprazole, or Prevacid. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to combine and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.